Thurman mentioned, all year long we've gone through assessments. We've tried to celebrate your success. At the end of each assessment we will send out the summary chart, 12, 13, 14 growth, and here are some high points. Because what we've tried to do is sell our message. We've tried to sell your message, recognize the hard work the wonderful things that are going on at individual schools, not only, as Mr. Arnold said, for achievement, but also your growth over time. So what I'd like to do over the next couple of slides is talk to you about our growth in writing and talk to you about our growth in our standards that we're teaching through our recognized through our CRCT assessments in grades three through eight, as well as our EOCT assessments that are in the high school grades and in some of our middle schools. This slide highlights our achievement in writing. Writing is significant important for next year. Of course it's important this year, but next year it will play a very significant role as we enter into the new Georgia Milestones assessment system. You'll learn more about that tomorrow from Dr. Fincher's presentation as well from our presentations later, but we want to talk about our celebration in writing from this year. We've had some excellent highlights. If you look at this slide, the story this slide tells, we had two schools with 100% achievement. The Cab School of the Arts and the Museum School. We had multiple schools that had double digit increases. If you look at certain schools like Cedar Grove, Chestnut, Dresden, 16 and 19 percentage points growth on the writing assessment from one year to the next. That's substantial. Grade 8 writing, McNair, Cedar Grove, 19 and 15 percent growth. That's significant. As we move from writing and we discuss our the elementary level and middle school level CRCT, the Criterion Reference Competency Test, those tests that you all know assess our standards. Are we teaching the Georgia Performance Standards and how well our kids are doing by achievement? But also we want to recognize how they're doing as they schools and the students grow from year to year. As a district, we re realized an increase in three content areas reading, science, and social studies. Wadsworth, 100% proficiency in all five areas. <laughs> Kittredge Magnet School, 100% in four areas and 99% in one. Austin Elementary School and the Museum School, 100% in multiple areas. And we had Knollwood and Meadowview double digit increases in two areas as well as increases in all five areas. <laughs> McClendon Elementary and Pleasantdale Elementary and Rock Chapel double-digit increases in two of the five areas. Those indicate a significant growth and the success of what's happening at that level with those students at those schools, and it's important we recognize them. As we move into the high school, we look at our EOCT scores. The story that this slide will tell the district grew in five of the seven content areas. DECA 
100% passing rate in four content areas and DeKalb School of the Arts in two content areas. <laughs> Towers High School, 31% point growth in economics. <laughs> Towers High School, 24% point growth in ninth grade literature. In our middle schools, we have students earning Carnegie unit credit by taking high school level courses. Shambly Middle School, 100% of their students passed and made proficient scores on their EOCT. Five of our middle schools showed double digit growth from 13 to 14 in the Common Core GPS Coordinate Algebra Test. Chapel Hill, Druid Hills, Sequoia, Path Academy, and Tucker Middle School. It has been my privilege to stand up here and recognize these schools for their achievement as well as for their growth. And now I get the honor to turn this over to Dr. Beasley to say, to explain to us and help us work how we're going to, what caused this growth and how we're going to move forward. Thank you.